Hello. We are tripoded up. Hi, how's it going, Jen? How are you, babe? And Mandy and Brittany. Or is that Bryn? I can't see. And Cassie. You guys. Hi. How's it going? Hey, look who doesn't have makeup on. Again. And this time my hair's wet because I just got out of the shower. And don't you even think about judging because you know there have been times where you've totally showered midday because you can. Hi from Texas. How's it going? Hello. Hello. Welcome. Please come in. Come in. Do not be afraid. I know it is super long. Look at this madness. Hey, you guys want to see the back because I know everybody's been asking online and I haven't done pictures. Ooh. But I will show you guys, even though it's not really styled, it's just wet. La la la. I'm getting it done today, so that's why I didn't do anything yet. So, yeah, no judgment. I'm just happy to be out of my pajamas. So, ta da! Okay, today in this uh, broadcast, I'm going to be doing another Do I Like This? Because the one I did yesterday on the bubble clay was pretty fun. And I say, let's just keep it going. Um, I This is not a sponsored post. Nobody is paying me to say this. I found this product on my own free will and volition. I don't even know. Do people talk like that? I don't know. So um, I was Black Friday shopping while I was in the mountains because there's no stores up there. And Amazon kept posting this, like putting it on the sidebar and stuff. And I finally clicked on it and was like, what? Okay, yes, I will do a, I, I will style my hair today after I get it done. And I will do a 360 and I will post it and I will blast it on all my social media channels. And then hopefully I can get back into everybody's good graces. But back to the uh, brush. So I was shopping on Amazon and they kept recommending it. And so I finally clicked on it because it, I don't know, look how weird it looks. So I was like, what is this thing that Amazon is so like adamant about me looking at? So I looked at it and I was like, wow, that looks pretty cool. And so I got it because it was on sale and because it's Amazon and I had a gift card. Um, and so we're going to open this box and we're going to try it and see what this thing is. Um, I know it's meant for, uh, it's from Kaylin Cosmetics. I don't know much about Kaylin. I've never used anything from their line. So if you know anything, let me know. Um, this will definitely be an absolute true first impression. But the brush is synthetic, so you can use it with creams and liquids and all of that. It's meant for like foundations and cream foundations and liquid foundations and primers and uh, products of those na of that nature. Um, and the, the brush is like got like a billion trillion hair fibers. So it's meant to be like really, really dense. So you're trying to watch at Target? Oh my gosh. You win at life today. And I love you so much for watching this, this broadcast at Target. That just totally made my day. Okay. So I busted the, uh, not busted. I very nicely pulled this out of its packaging. Comes in a little container like this. And it really does look super cool. It's like futuristic makeup brush. Ugh. Right. Target. Either Target or Amazon I have a hard time not spending money on. I'm trying to like just pretend like I know what you guys are saying in the comments. But I don't. Okay, okay, okay. So I pulled it out of the package. This is what it looks. It has a little cap here. Looks like. Look at this weird brush, guys. I don't even know what to think yet. So um, this is like a protective brush or cap, which I think is genius because how many of you, give me a sad face, uh, get really frustrated when you're traveling with makeup brushes and you pull them out of your makeup bag and all the brushes are like bent and like frayed and going everywhere. So this is actually super genius. I wish every single makeup brush in the whole world came with a cap like this. And it totally does. They look like a toothbrush, but it's not. I totally hate that. Yes. Okay, so, wow. Hold on a minute. This feels like freaking velvet. I have never felt 
a brush like this in my entire life. I feel like I need a minute alone with the brush. That's inappropriate. Okay, so wow, the brush is incredibly soft and I have never before in my entire life See, I'm sorry for being stupid. I've never before in my life seen a brush with this much hair. It is absolutely 100,000, 10% the most dense brush I've ever used. And it feels spectacular. It's so soft, holy smokes. Okay, so I'm gonna use it for two things. I'm gonna use it to, to apply my primer if I can find it. Oh, how much was the brush? I It was $17 on Amazon, and I'm gonna be tweeting out a link and posting it on Facebook so you can find it because they have a bunch of different sellers, and if you get it from Amazon, you get free shipping. I know, I'm sorry, Chantuse. I say stupid stuff, what are you gonna do? Okay, I've got my primer here, hold on a second. Hold on a second. So I, it says that you can use it for creams and foundations and primers and all of that. So I'm gonna test it with my primer and with my foundation. And um, I just wanna say, I see a lot of people on YouTube putting product right onto the br their brushes, and that makes me cringe. So please don't do that because you're wasting a good portion of your product. It's just gonna seep down into the, the bottom of your brushes when you do that. And also it's kind of bad for your brushes. So never apply your products directly to your brushes. Okay. <clears throat> Primer, this is not about the primer, but I posted a primer that was like a pore reducing primer before on my blog a long time ago, like years ago. And I showed it before and after and somebody commented and it still bugs me today. Somebody commented and said, oh, you could totally tell that that's Photoshopped. And I'm like, it is not Photoshopped. And so I'm gonna show you this pore primer live. So you can see that I am not Photoshopping the ma magic that this primer does. Even though that it's about the brush, I'm gonna show you this. So this is Color Science, um, and it's their Face Prime Sun Forgettable. And I love it. It really does blur out your pores, and it has a 30 SPF in it, which is amazing. Yes, pore reducing stuff all day long. So let me do the embarrassing like close-up shot real fast so you can see my pores and how big they are, and then I'll show you what this business does. Okay. Mm. I'm trying not to laugh because I'm like so close. Okay, there, there we go, that's a good shot. Pores, pores out of control. Okay, one more time. Primer is Color Science and it's their Sun Forgettable Primer. So I don't know if you could see that. Take a screenshot or something. I'm gonna post a link to this too because you can get it on Amazon. I buy everything on Amazon now. I try it in real life if I like it, I order it on Amazon. I don't have to load up kids to go to the store. It comes to my house within two days and they always have the best prices. So I'm sorry, I'm not like a store snob or anything like that. I'm ghetto and I shop on Amazon. Okay, so I'm gonna take a little tiny pump. You don't need a lot. This is like super duper uh, concentrate. Look how like teeny tiny amount. And totally, Amazon's totally convenient. So I'm gonna dab it onto my face first. And I'm not gonna apply it everywhere because that's a waste of product. I'm only gonna apply it to my nose, my forehead, and my cheeks where all my pores are large and need to be blurred out. So here we go. And then I'll use the brush and you guys can see what it looks like. I'll do a tiny bit here too. Okay. So I've applied all the product to my face and I'm just gonna use the brush to blend it in. I don't even know how to hold this because I've never used anything like this before, but it feels like magic. And I'll tell you, like in real life, I probably would never use a brush to apply my primer. I just like to press it in with my fingers. But for the sake of testing out this makeup brush, I'm, I am using it so we can see. I feel like I have like clumps of product, I can't see. It feels so soft, I can't even handle it. And wow, it like gets right into the corners of my eye. It does look like a spoon. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> it's not, it's a brush. So if you're just tuning into this, this is a um, 
my first time using this brush and we're trying to decide if I like it. And the brush is from Kaylin and it's called the Oh Wow brush. Wow, this is, okay, now I know why they call it that. Because it's just, every time I use it, I'm like, wow. So, um, the, the hairs are synthetic, so you can use it with creams and liquids and all of that. That's why I'm using it with my primer. I know, right? This was a well-named product because I just keep saying, wow, that feels so good. I love it. Okay, who wants to see a close-up now? Yeah, so I'm just touching to see my, my skin to see if it's like, um, you know, absorbing and rubbing it into my skin, and it totally is. My skin doesn't feel like, you know, like it's damp or has wet product on it or anything like that. This is just so soft. I just want to keep using it. They need to um, adopt these brushes at like every spa that does facials, and this should be part of like the whole facial experience because it's so soft. Okay, let's do a close-up on my pore again so you can see the difference between the product. Can you even believe that? Do you remember like 30 seconds ago when I had like craters on my nose? What is happening? So that's why I use this primer. It's amazing. I love it. And of course, it's not like magic, so it's not like all of a sudden I have porcelain skin. But I haven't even put my foundation on, so already we've made huge improvements, and I definitely did a, a, approve of using this with the primer. I, I was worried it was going to absorb the primer or take it off, and it didn't. It totally rubbed it in, and it was amazing. Okay, the primer that I used for anybody just tuning in is the Color Science Face Primer, and this is the Sun Forgettable one, and... Again, this like totally blurs out your pores and has an SPF in it. So even if you don't live in the surface of the sun like I do, you should be using an SPF because let's, let's be honest, the sun ages you really quickly. So for my foundation, I'm using, uh, what is this? <laughs> I know what this is because I've been using it for over a year. This is IT Cosmetics CC Cream. And this is their color correcting full coverage cream. So uh, I've talked about IT Cosmetics before, but I love their products and their brushes are spectacular. They always have the anti-aging stuff built right in. And I say stuff because they literally will pack in like 50 different types of ingredients that are really good for your skin, anti-aging. I know they say don't sleep in your makeup, but I'm not afraid to sleep in this because it's got so much great stuff in it. I'm still not recommending you sleep in your makeup, but it's amazing. Um, and 50 SPF, yes, give me that SPF all the live long day. Um, and I just have to say, like, how many of you, uh, like, raise your hand if you know somebody who's total, like, brand, like, just super picky and only uses MAC or Smashbox? Because I know a couple people and influence, like, YouTubers and stuff who are, like, MAC only. And I feel so sad for them because look at all the amazing products that they miss out on. And I, I just want to say, like, I hope I never am like that because once you, like, limit yourself to one brand, you miss out on amazing products. And not even that, but, like, drugstore and, like, products that you can buy at Target. Same thing. I'm not afraid or ashamed to use anything from over-the-counter or whatever or, like, totally high-end because... I've discovered like some of my favorite lipsticks were $7 and some of my other favorite lipsticks are $30. So my advice, my tip of the day is never become a brand snob because you're going to miss out on all the best cosmetics in life. So, okay. Um, that was kind of like a mean delay there. I pulled like a Ryan Seacrest. I was about to show you <laughs> what this brush does with foundation. Okay, so one more time, if you're just tuning in, I am um, trying out this Kaylin Oh Wow Foundation Brush. Um, it's a foundation liquid brush. It's made of synthetic hairs, and I'm going to use the It Cosmetics CC Cream. I'm using it in light. Um, in the winter, I usually use Fair because I'm like more pale, 
and in the summer I use light because it's a really fine line, but I'm, I'm using light because I feel like I haven't gotten totally translucent yet. So give it another month for the winter and I'll be totally invisible. Okay, so again, we don't apply the product to our brushes, do we? No, because that's terrible. I'm gonna take the um, foundation and I'm gonna dot it onto my face and then I'll use the brush to rub it in. And I feel like I barely got any. Hold on a second. I mean, I got some, but I, I need a tad bit more. And I'm not doing like full shebang makeup or anything. Like I haven't put any concealer or under eye or anything like that. I just wanted it to be about the brush. Okay. So again, I haven't wasted any product. It's all off my fingers. I blotted it into my skin and now I'm going to try out the brush to rub it all in. Okay. Give me, I'm not going to talk while I'm doing this. So just give me tons of hearts if you're watching so I know. You are seeing this and experiencing this with me. There we go. Hi, guys. Wow. Wow. This is so cool. I know. I can't stop saying wow. Okay, just the tip alone is genius because you can like, okay, I can get into these corners and get around my nose. This is crazy. I love it. I don't even know. I'm just in like another universe right now. This is so great. Um, I think in the corner of my eye, somebody asked how much it was. The brush was $17 because I got it on Amazon. So I'm going to post a link. I can't believe how amazing this brush feels. It's bananas. And the claim to this brush is that it's like gives you a airbrushed finish with no streaks. So I'm going to have to do a close up to see if that is true. Oh my gosh, I can't, I could do this all day. Somebody come over here and make me stop. <laughs> okay. Wow. I'm just like, <laughs> I love it already. This is amazing. Okay. Should we do a close up? I feel like I need a teeny tiny bit more on my chin, just a little bit. You try doing your makeup on your phone. It's not, it's really hard to see. I don't really. Okay. I can't even believe this because it doesn't look like there's any product on this brush. I think I'm going to definitely have to continue using it. Because normally when I, I use a stippling brush from It Cosmetics, and it's amazing. It's their HD brush. It's also kind of got the whole micro, uh, like, airbrush finish. Um, but dang, this is crazy. I'm just in love with the tip and the way that it feels. And normally, like, my stippling brush is just, like, totally, like, sticky and, like, you know, almost, like, wet with product. And this... It doesn't feel like there's any product in it, which is making me think that it doesn't even waste any product. And if that's the case, I think I am totally converted to using this from now on. Well, it is taking a long time because I'm talking and because I want to like really experience it like a dork. Um, 
and I just can't, it's so soft. Like I just, you stop, you, you get this brush and see if you can just stop. It feels so soft. Okay. Let's zoom in. Okay. Can you guys see any streaks? Ooh, it's like the awkward, it was a really long, awkward silence. <laughs> oh, okay, that was amazing. So I am going to have to say, do I like this? Yes. It's a definite yes. Do you guys like it? What do you think? For a CC cream that's not even necessarily full coverage, I am impressed with the application and you can see that right like there's no there's no product it's not sticky it's not anything it's just feels exactly like it did before okay let me no it's not shedding at all I don't see it shedding do you guys see it shedding it's not shedding um, I haven't tried the color science foundation do I need to I've tried, um, ooh, they have a really great um, vitamin C cream that I like, but I've just this primer is what I've been using. <laughs> it is so fancy, and it looks, it could be a microphone, or a spoon, or a toothbrush, but it's not. It's a makeup brush. Okay, the brush, I'm not sure which one were you asking, Sarah, do you want to know what the brush is called? I can show you the box again. Um, the brush is the Oh Wow brush from Kaylin. And the foundation and primer, the primer is Color Science. Yeah, okay, Sarah, the brush is Kaylin. Sorry. Let me show you the box one more time. Have any of you guys used Kaylin before? I've never even heard of it. I'm going to have to send them an email because I like it. And they had this other brush called the O brush. And that looked like pretty intense. So I just started with this one. You just went and bought four for presents. You're going to be the best friend or the best sister for whoever you got those for. Because this like brush is makes a statement from start to finish. I mean, the packaging, the brush itself is like totally futuristic and trippy. And then the way that it feels. And I'm totally, totally sold and convinced on the application. Um, should I do, I don't know, you guys want me to do a full makeup start to finish? That's, I'm nervous, that would take forever with all the talking, but I will totally do it if you guys want. I'm working on some holiday, um, what are they called? Holiday tutorials, makeup tutorials. Oh, wow, okay. If you guys want me to, I will totally do a full face makeup soon. Um, okay, we have a bunch of people still on through that whole super long demonstration. And I did kind of say that I would give you guys a little mini tour. So to reward you for sticking around, who wants to see like one little sneak peek of my new house? Ooh! Even though it's totally, I warned you yesterday, it's totally not my house yet. It's still other people lived here at house. <laughs> so, um, okay, I'm gonna take this off and show you. It's like, we haven't even unpacked, so you have to understand. So this is my office. Well, this is part of my office. Like I have this whole casita. Let me, let me twirl it around. There we go. So, um, this is the bedroom part of the casita. And then, I mean, that's just like a closet. And then the casita has a bathroom. So really fancy, living it up. And this is what I mean by, I am just not sure about the style. <laughs> so the flooring was like this and we kind of were experimenting. So I ripped some of it up. And so this room is totally torn apart, but this would be like the living room of the apartment or casita. And then it has this kitchen. And the kitchen is just kind of like, random kitchens put together <laughs> because Philly has a random fridge and cupboards and all that. But this is what I'm going to show you because everybody's like, wait, what? So hold on a second. Okay, hold on. Okay, 
So this is the kitchen to my real house, right? And, okay, sorry about the jiggly. So this is my kitchen. So cute, right? It's like dirty and gross. Who has time to clean? Nobody. Okay, and this is just a bookshelf, right? Totally unassuming bookshelf. Or is it? What? <laughs> oh my gosh, my kids are super obsessed with the secret door situation, but. So yeah, the casita has a total secret door and it's so funny that we love it. <laughs> I'm reading your guys' comments. This is making me laugh. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not kidding. It really, I mean, in 2015, people have secret doors. And I'm like, not ashamed. They, they have like, they, they like decorated it themselves. So it's got like this, um, this is just like styrofoam covered in fabric. So we're gonna like paint it and make it a little bit more modern, but. I'm not telling, I'm telling you what, like, you don't think you need a secret door until you have one and you see how excited kids get. It's so cute. So yeah, and then this is because I had to do a bunch of videos like the week after we moved in and we didn't really have any space anywhere to do it and nothing was done and this cast like a really terrible color. So I found this flooring and it's like stickers I mean, it's like really stuck on there, so I can't pull it up, but they're just like strips of sticker, like wood vinyl. And I got all of that for like $30 and then we painted this gray. And that's where I've been doing some of my videos that you've seen lately, just to kind of fake the whole, this room's a disaster. <laughs> and then these are from Home Depot. These were $25. And they were like red brick that I just painted them white. So now I can like move them over there and have like a makeshift um, little studio. But that's kind of the plan for this whole room is to do like tons of, have like awesome, uh, just style it really awesome so we could do video and um, photo shoots and stuff in here. The wood vinyl I got from Liquid Lumber, Liquid, what is it? Lumber Liquid. <laughs> Sorry, whoa. Back up, guys. Jeez, personal space. Okay, hold on. Put it back on the tripod. Yeah, lumber liquidators. That feels like a tongue twister for some reason. Holy cow, I'm never doing a periscope with wet hair again. That was such a bad idea. Now it's like dry. Okay. Hey, did you guys like this video? Give me a thumbs up or like a gajillion hearts if you did. And what do you guys want to see next? Do you want me to do another, do I like this video? Do you want like a little motivational chat next time, like some self-help love? Or um, like some sort of tutorial like you guys were requesting earlier, like a full makeup look or hair video. Um, you ordered five brushes? Oh my gosh. What's your name? Because I just saw your, um, your, your handle and it didn't look like a name. So that's amazing. Five brushes, people are going to die. Any would be fun. I like that. Easy to please. That's super nice. And ask Whippy just where you guys can like ask questions. That would be kind of fun. I'm all about that. Maybe we need to have like one day a week where I just do like ask me anything days or something. Ask me anything Saturdays? No. <laughs> Anyways. Um, you ordered four? Wow, guys. I didn't even. That's awesome. Cool. I think you're going to be really happy. Like, that's what I love about Periscope. Like, you can't hide or lie about anything because it's live. Um, yeah, tell, leave a comment and be like, Whippy Cake sent us. That'd be funny. Amazon will be like, who's Whippy Cake? I want cake. Uh, yeah, okay. All right, I'd be all about doing an Ask Whippy video. Um, I'm going to wrap it up. You guys are amazing. Thanks for watching this whole time. And um, I hope to you like the little sneak peek tour. Uh, you guys will appreciate it more when we like make it over and make it all awesome. So, mwah! Thank you. I'll see you next time. Thank you, Ren. Is it Ren? Hey, Ren Zanity or Zanity or however you say that. What is your name? Because I saw you on here yesterday and um, I just want to say hi. I like to be able to get to know people um, by like first name basis. So we can be friends and my husband doesn't have to tease me about having online friends 
So if we're on a first name basis, then we're real life friends. Hi, Ashley. See, look at that. Okay, thanks, Ashley. Now I know what to call you from now on. That's awesome. Okay, bye guys. Thank you. Thanks, Ashley. Thanks everybody who's been watching. I will see you next time. See if I can whippy cake. Okay.